And it seems young people find the threat of war in the Gulf more worrying than the greenhouse effect. That's according to a new survey of children aged between the ages of 8 and 18. Two and a half thousand children were questioned on subjects that varied from nuclear war to clothes, computers and careers. The one thing that worried them more than anything else was a war with Iraq. That's replaced pollution and the hole in the ozone layer and become their number one concern. But green issues are still important. Eight out of ten children are buying recycled things whenever they can. In the world of sport, Gary Lineker and Gaza are now the top idols. And children are great readers. Nearly two-thirds read books for pleasure and Roald Dahl, according to the survey, is the most popular author. The teenage mutant hero Turtles have also made their mark. They didn't make it into the top ten TV and film stars list, but pizza is now more popular than Chinese food. Richard Branson has delayed his record-breaking attempt to cross the Pacific Ocean in a hot air balloon. He planned to fly the five and a half thousand miles from Japan to America before Christmas, but the trip's been held up because of bad weather. Now to an 11-year-old boy's dream of owning a fire engine, a dream that's just come true. Mark Dean from East London is mad about the fire service and has been ever since the age of four. But something large was missing from his life after the first fire engine he owned broke down. Desperate for another one, he applied for a bank loan to buy a new engine. At only 11, he's too young to get a loan, so the bank decided to buy one for him, on the condition that for the next year, he gives half of his five pounds a week pocket money to a charity. He also uses the engine to raise money for charity by taking it to shows and fates. Keeping a fire engine is hard work and needs special attention. Well, every morning I've come to start up with my dad's, then we clean it, then we check all the gears working on it. And sometimes we um, put water for the hoses if it's not cold. Mark's got another seven years before he can become a real firefighter, but he and his engine are prepared to wait. And finally, with just a week to go to Christmas, we're ending tonight's programme on a festive note. Girl guides from all over the country have been singing carols under the Christmas tree in London's Trafalgar Square this afternoon. And Newsround's Paul Welsh is with them now. There's a real Christmassy feel down here tonight. It's even been snowing a little. The girls from all over Britain have been singing carols for just over an hour. And hundreds of people have stopped here in Trafalgar Square to listen and to join in. And now, it's our turn. Ding dong, merrily on high, in heaven the bells are ringing. Ding dong, merrily in the sky, is every creature singing. Go! And that's all from Newsround for tonight, so until the same time tomorrow, bye-bye.